Hi guys, Toby Logo here. Welcome back to the 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa game and today we are starting another qualifying series but this time with Bulgaria. I haven't done Bulgaria in a run, like a qualifying run, since my Euro 2008 run that I did ages ago so you can go check that out if you want to. Let's get straight into this then with Bulgaria. They qualified seven times, they're a three and a half star team. I'm expecting big things from this run from Bulgaria. So these are the groups, these were the actual groups. We're gonna shuffle them and see what we get. So in three, two, one, boom. And we are in a group with Latvia, Sweden, Macedonia, Romania, and Czech Republic. So obviously there's no huge team in there. I'd say the biggest team in there is probably Sweden and Czech Republic, Romania those kind of teams, but they're all around about the same rating, so it's going to be a very, very close group. So with Berbatov, I'm hoping to at least get a lot of goals. He will carry us in this qualifying campaign, and before we start it, we are doing it on Legendary. As usual, I show it all the time, just so we get clarification on it, because it's the best way to play these kind of games. Our first match is against the Czech Republic. I would say Latvia or Macedonia are probably the weaker of the teams in the group. So it's going to be an extremely competitive group. But I'm hoping that Berbatov can set the world alight. Spin round here. Got a tackle, but Angelov's got it. It's to Berbatov now. Berbatov into the middle. And we go for it, and it's a goal. Nice assist by Berbatov. And already we're 1-0 up thanks to Rangelov. And that's what Bulgaria can do. Of course, three and a half star team, we're going to have no trouble scoring goals. It's just the defence I'm a tiny little bit worried about because I don't know any of Bulgaria's defenders. I'm fairly sure Bulgaria haven't been at a World Cup for probably well over 30 years now, I'd say. Well, coming up to 30 years, actually. Wasn't it 1994, their last appearance? And that was obviously with the heroics of Stoichkov. I'm hoping I can get that kind of run with Berbatov here, you know, emulate that kind of heroics. Berbatov on the ball, he goes for it. Oh, off the top of the bar already, heating up in this one. He's got the ball back here. Oh, check, what a save. Czech Republic pressing a little bit. They crossed that in, they got it. They somehow got round me and they put it wide. Bit of a defensive error to let Nessie through like that, but he missed it, so I'm good with that. Petrov to whip this in. It's headed and off the post. And it's another corner because it tapped the feet of the defender from the Czech Republic. Another chance for Bulgaria. It's crossed in. Header and Czech saves it. It's half time and we're 1 0 up over the Czech Republic. Not a bad start. A lot of shots in this first half. Oh, here we go. Through ball. Nessid. He's shrugging me off. No. Don't you dare. And it's gone in. And the Czech Republic have equalised. Despite having very little chances in this game. Only about two shots and one of them's already gone in. Berbatov. And he gets hacked out in the box. And that's going to be a penalty to the Bulgarians. Unnecessary challenge really from the Czechs. Considering that, well, that's a red card for Rosenau. It's in the green. And bang, that's it. That's 2-1, and Dimitar Berbatov has scored his first goal of the qualifying campaign. Crossed in, header, and it came off the defender. Georgiev has got it, but it gets denied. Over the top, and goalkeeper's coming out for it. And what is that? I didn't even tell him to come out, and that was a good goal, to be fair, from that angle. I didn't tell the goalkeeper to come out, and Severkos, however you say it, scores to make it 2-2. Like, I never really send my goalkeeper out in situations like that, ever, because I just hope to drag a defender back and deal with the problem. But the AI dragged the goalkeeper out for me, and I assumed the goalkeeper was going to go for a header, but instead he just does that. Headed out, but it goes straight back to the Czech Republic. We're not dealing with the threats very well, but it doesn't matter. It's the end of the game, and it's 2-2. Probably should have won that one. Goalkeeper did chuck that game away for us, but it's fine. It's the first match. We'll forgive him. Go on to the next match. For our second match, we are away from home against Macedonia. Is this kind of like a rivalry game? I know that the two countries are pretty close, 
So, I don't know, would it be a rivalry? I'm really unsure. Macedonia pressing. Good ball into the box, and they just scored. They just scored the first goal, and that is Pandev, who has made it 1-0. Of course, we know how dangerous Pandev can be. He's an absolute Macedonian legend. And, yeah, 1-0 to Macedonia. Fair play. It was a decent cross, and very good header as well. Left the goalkeeper stranded. Rangelov here. Can we throw ball it to... No, we can. It's blocked. Being a bit like this, it feels like Bulgaria are slightly, just ever so slightly disjointed. Oh, good ball. And Petrov has got it. Off the post. Unlucky. Berbatov off the post. Again, two post hits to Petrov. And saved, finally. That's a free kick, though. We have the chance to score here. It's Petrov. No, okay. That free kick was absolutely awful. Through ball to Berbatov. Can we move forward here? Come on. This should be an easy sweat, right? And it is. And that's 1-1. A little bit of a dirty move, but we needed to do it to get back in the game. Rangelov gets another goal for this World Cup campaign. Good assist by Berbatov as well. Berbatov a bit too powerful for the Macedonian defenders. Berbatov to Petrov, to Georgiev, and they blow the whistle even though I was about to shoot for half time. And it's 1-1. A little bit of a struggle, but fair play to Macedonia for coming out here and being strong. And it's blocked. We've got it back here though. Go for the strike. Oh, good save. We've really struggled to get forward here. We're only getting one chance, and of course we actually scored that chance, but... Most of the time, Macedonia have been really good defensively. Pandev out to Ristic. It's crossed in. They got it off the post. Macedonia almost took the lead again. They've been pretty good. They've been very, very sort of scrappy at the back. And then up front, they've been really good. Like I said, they've been really switched on in this match. Georgiev. Berbatov. He goes to Finesse. Oh! I mean, a little bit higher, it might have crept its way in. I had to do something, and especially with the star player. No header again. Berbatov out to Angelov. He goes for it. Oh, not really the best shooting position, but another point. But this time against Macedonia. I don't know how I feel about it. Macedonia played well, but at the same time, Bulgaria just weren't switched on. I said they were sleepwalking, and I was proven right. It wasn't a fantastic game from them. Our third match is against Latvia. We are at home for this one, and we have to win this one. They are one of the lowest ranked teams in the group, next to Macedonia. We drew against Macedonia, so we have to beat Latvia. If we don't, then our campaign will be a little bit in jeopardy, I'd say, because the teams below us will start catching us up. And Berbatov wasn't ready for that through ball. You need to wake up, dude. Like, where is the Berbatov we know and love from Spurs and Manchester United? Where is that? Good passing play here. And that is going to be a foul from Latvia. And again, the referee just gives nothing, even though these players are getting injured visibly on the pitch, but... Referee's like, no, I don't care about that. Petrov goes for it. What a strike. Corner. Can we score? Header. Yes. Good header. Who was that? I think it was a defender. It was. It was Stoyanov with the goal. Great header. Glancing header just at the front post there. And it went into the back of the net. Bulgaria have taken the lead. What I've noticed in this qualifying campaign in particular, the three games I've been playing, is that every time I'll go to tackle someone, the referee will give a foul, the, dis, despite the fact, you know, if it's a clean tackle or not. Every time I tackle Latvia, it just keeps going back to him. Poor ball, and it's going to be half-time. We're 1-0 up, and um, I'm happy, but I feel like I can have a lot more chances in this one, but it still feels like Bulgaria aren't all there. Like, the lights are on, but nobody's home kind of situation. Petrov steals it away from the Latvian defender. Cross that in. Go on. Oh, he chested it down, but just didn't get the shot off in time. The goalkeeper sweeps that up. Petrov still has it here. Not a great strike, but that's fine, I guess. Just been a bit of a dead game. It's kind of, you know when you get these kind of games, oh no, please don't. Don't you dare, Carlsons. Come on. Bulgaria, you've got to stop them. Thankfully, he stopped himself. 
And that's going to be it. We get our first win of the qualifying campaign. It was a boring one, but I'll take it. We can build on the form. We are in Romania for our next match. This is a big one between these two neighbouring countries. And I would assume they're rivals from the story of qualifying matches that I've done in the past. It's a big game and we need to win it, especially away from home. We need the points because if you look at the table right now, Sweden are kind of running away with the group. Oh, that's a poor header. And they go for it just over the bar. It's quite rare for the computer to strike it from distance. Georgiev, Bojanov, still got it. Crossed in, that's a good one. And it's headed wide. How are you putting that wide, dude? That was a free header. Through ball, Berbatov on the ball. No, okay. Feels like Berbatov isn't quite the beast that I want him to be. Like, he's assisted some goals and he scored a penalty, but on the ball sometimes he's a bit clunky. Goes for the Ness and it's just wide. I saw the goalkeeper coming off his line slightly and I was like, maybe I can catch him, but no. Petrov to whip it in. Go on, oh, again, a decent header, but no power on it. Half time, it's nil nil. We should be, we should be at least one nil up, I think, in this one. All the headers we had, through ball, Petrov, he's in behind here, and he scores! Early on into the second half, Petrov scores. Such an important goal for Bulgaria. Great strike underneath the keeper, especially away from home. We need more wins. We can't keep drawing. If we're going to go through via the playoffs, because Sweden have, you know, kind of taken so many points off of the others, we're going to have to keep winning. Down to Bojanov. Petrov, oh, tackle just before I can do anything. Sweden yet again winning against another opponent, this time Macedonia. They're up 4 0 on them. Over the top here by Berbatov, expertly played. Bojanov is in behind. Here we go, off the post. Berbatov to Bojanov. Go on. Yes, he scores. Berbatov assists another player. And Bodinov with the goal to make it 2-0. And that is it. Romania have lost here at home. And we grab a vital three points. We needed that. Because if we're going to lose against Sweden, I want to have a little bit of a cushion to be on if I'm going to lose. Because I don't want any of the teams catching me up. Uh-oh. Romania pushing. And that's a penalty. All I did was put a foot in. And he went down. And yeah, I mean, I guess Romania were looking for that. Mutu has the chance. I don't know why it's still giving me tutorials because obviously we're playing on legendary and that went in. Even though I saved it, it still went in. And Mutu gets a consolation. Well, I hope it's a consolation. And that's it. We've beaten Romania at home. That's a vital result for Bulgaria. Now we will have eight points, I believe. So we're not that far behind Sweden in the table. It's definitely not over for anyone because even Romania, if they get a win, can still be in the mix, so to speak. So Sweden are top with 12 points, Bulgaria have 8, but we got a game in hand, so the maximum we can get is 11 for this episode. Czech Republic, they're just 3 points behind us. Same with Macedonia and Latvia are about 5 points behind us as well. And like I said, Romania are only a win behind us as well. Everybody, apart from Sweden and Macedonia, have a game in hand. This is going to be the last match of part one. So we need to go out strong in this one. Like I said, I want 11 points so I can be one point behind them for the second part. Because although going through the playoffs is fine, I don't really want to do that because it's an extra couple of matches you have to play. And um, sometimes you can get some really good teams in the playoffs that just fall short. Oh, good hook away from Sweden there. This is, match is a big game. We really need to try and stop Sweden. Over the top. Oh, yes. Berbatov. Keep going. Dimitar Berbatov. Yes. He scores from open play. And that is an important goal. And it was perfect for a man like Berbatov. The captain, the leader, and the modern day legend of Bulgaria. Over the top here, Berbatov. Come on, keep using that strength. I think Berbatov might be able to score off the post again. 
He's done that a few times in this run. Just need to hold on here against Sweden as we go into half time. Really good performance. Berbatov getting that goal as well. Maybe that will kickstart his scoring campaign in this World Cup qualifiers. Ibrahimovic gives away the ball there. Berbatov on the ball now for Bulgaria. Bojanov over the top. Sweden keep coming out of position and it's just so easy just to lift it over the top here. And off the post again from Berbatov. How many chances are you going to get that you hit the post? If it was like a crossbar challenge or hit the post challenge, Berbatov would be the outright winner. Still got the ball back here from that tackle. Still got it. That's quite surprising. And the through ball has gone straight through to Bojanov. Can he hold him off? And Berbatov, oh good save from the keeper, header, and it's just stopped by the defender. Ibrahimovic scores to make it 1-1, and that was a bit of a, well, it was a random cross, and then I just couldn't defend this, and then he had free game on the goal pretty much. Over the top, Berbatov. Yes, go on. Off the post again! Berbatov! How many times are you going to hit the post? And again, another header missed by the Bulgarian defence. And over the top to Kim Kalström. Can we stop him? No, we can. Come on, Bulgaria! Seriously, where's the defenders? Why are they not so strong? I don't get it. Like... I don't know, maybe the defence isn't as good as the strike force that we have. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No. Surely, Larson was offside in that position. Get him. Good save. No, it's gone back to Sweden. And off the post. Unbelievable. And they score. Oh, my goodness. Bulgaria, where are your defenders? Where are they? You're so sleepy. This team has sleepwalked through most of these games. I'm, I'm not joking. They just let things happen. They just let things like that happen and they're just all over the place. Should have won that game. Berbatov missed a mountain of chances. It wasn't the worst performance in the world, but do you know what I mean? We should have won that game because the amount of chances we had, that puts us in a really bad position now because now we have to go through the playoffs. Sweden, on the other hand, are running away with the group. So this is how the table's looking like then, just for the final time of this video. Tune in for part two, where we do it all over again. But Sweden are running away the group. You have to say that if Sweden win the next, like, two games, possibly, they sealed that spot. Bulgaria are in second place, with five games played and eight points. Not too bad, but all the other teams below us are very, very close to us. And a couple of wins for them and maybe a couple of losses or draws for us will threaten that position. Anyway though, if you did enjoy this first part of this Bulgaria 2010 World Cup qualifying series, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always. Tune in for part two and I'll see you again for the next video.